very honored to be here. And look at everybody, everybody's happy. I'm very happy too. It's a joyous moment for me. A king has arrived here at Pearson Airport, and that's why members of the Nigerian community have gathered here to welcome a man that they revere, all to celebrate Canada 150. The royal welcome of drumming, singing, and dancing it was for King Babatunde Adegeya Inaten Ogunwusi. He's the imperial leader of the Yoruba people, one of several tribes that originate in Nigeria and spread right across the world. So there are so many other kings after him too, but he's a, in the hierarchy of Yoruba kings, he's number one. He's the highest of the, the highest. highest of the highest. It's similar to, let's say, the Queen of England coming. You know, it's our rich cultural heritage, our art. The king was invited to attend Canada 150 celebrations by Brampton MP Ramesh Sangha. Supporters knelt at his feet when he arrived. I was also reminded of royal etiquette, told by organizers to bow before addressing him. The king said he was touched by all the fanfare. This is a great honor to meet my blood all the way in Canada, for them to give me this warm welcome. The king is expected to visit the nation's capital for a special reception tomorrow on Parliament Hill. It's just one in a series of events marking Canada's relationship with the West African nation. One of the embodiments of the very rich culture of Nigeria in all its ramifications. And that's why people have turned out in very large numbers to receive it. Well, the king is expected to meet with the African Caribbean and African Canadian community here in Toronto during his stay. He's set to leave sometime next week. Appears in Airport 10, Sutherland City News.